Hey Pirate Nation, this is Sam Gordon, your Pirates Insider at the Wide World of Indoor Sports in Rhode Island for the Pirates Open Tryout. Let's take a look. Here with Pirates owner and GM Jawad, your team. You asked me if I was having fun. Did you have fun today? Yeah, I had a great time. You know, uh, you know, we're, we're only doing one this year, and, and uh, we had a fantastic turnout today. Um, you know, the guys worked really hard. Um, you know, it was a good time. It was great to see these guys out there running. You know, we got everybody's information, and uh, you know, we'll discuss as a group, and, and uh, we'll go from there. Did you register yourself? Because you were getting your arm loose out there. I wasn't planning on it, but then, uh, <laughs> you know, no quarterback showed up this time. Uh, you know, I mean, the two we got on the roster, you know, it's pretty hard to crack that. But, um, yeah, you know, I went out there. You know, it's been about a year since I've thrown the, the ball around, and uh, it was fun, man. Uh, glad I got to give these guys a look. You have people from all walks of life. We interview people from Maryland, from North Carolina. How does it feel for people to come from all across the country to you know, be here for this trial? It's awesome. You know, it just... Uh, it shows the growth, you know, that we're experiencing now as an organization. Um, you know, we've seen it on all different levels, uh, you know, of, of, of the organiza organization itself. And to see it on this level as far as the open workout goes, to see the numbers that we got, you know, guys traveling from where they're traveling from, you know, the word's starting to spread and, and uh, you know, everything's, was, you know, gradually growing. So it was encouraging, you know, it just got to keep going. Here with 27-year-old Nubia Muhammad, how do you think you did today, man? And where are you coming from? Oh, I'm coming from Boston, you can see it, uh, you know. Uh, I actually think I did it pretty well, you know. I have the arena experience, so it was pretty much the same difference as just showing up to practice. So if you were to get the call, I'm, I've been asking all the players this, if you were to get the call, your first reaction, man? My first reaction is probably just to, you know, thank my mother for convincing me to come out here and give it another shot, because I've tried with the Mass Pirates before, but I didn't get the invite to camp. But uh, that'll be my first reaction. Tell my mother, like, yeah, you were right. I needed to show up. <laughs> I'm here with Wes Hogan, linebacker. Came all the way from North Carolina to be here. What, what made you make the commitment to get up here, man? Uh, football was my first love, and it's something that I've always believed in my heart that I could do. But there were other circumstances that had prevented me from that at certain times in my life. I had cancer in both my eyes as a child and lost my left eye, and just allowed doctors family, friends, coaches, whoever, to tell me that I couldn't do it. And I got tired of listening to those voices earlier this year and decided that I was going to get back to doing what I love to do, and that's play football. And how old are you? I'm 28 now. I uh, played uh, Division II at Stonehill College. Um, I've been playing six years now in Germany. Um, played with Shrey Shaw Unicorns, New York Alliance, Frankfurt Universe, um, Hildesheim Invaders. So I bounced around. Uh, Germany and the GFL one, one year in Italy. So uh, for me, it's, I've been playing ball for a long time now. Where are you coming from? Prince George's County, Maryland. A little ways away from here. Did you drive here? Yeah, yeah. My brothers and I uh, came down here about seven and a half hours. Yeah, I would say it's definitely worth the trip, though. Seven and a half, yeah, seven and a half hours, man. And imagine living up here in Massachusetts. If you were to get the call, what would be your first reaction? And shoot, first off, I'd be beyond excited. I have to thank the, uh, the Lord. You know, I mean, it's just nothing but gratitude. I'd be super excited just to, you know, get a chance to play in football professionally. I've been playing since I was seven. I uh, went to Stonehill College down the street, and uh, I actually play in Europe right now. So you're playing in Europe. What team? Yeah, the Swabish Hall Unicorns. Yeah, probably the best team in Europe for the past uh, three or four years. So what made you come out? Were you tired of the commute? <laughs> yeah, a little bit overseas. No, um, I'm friends with Jawad. Uh, I just kind of saw that he was kind of going with his team and the Mass Pirates. I want to thank him first and foremost and then uh, the Pirates organization. But it was just something maybe new, something to try out. It's, it's a hometown team. Um, been overseas for the last four years, so trying something new. Here with Arkell Newsom coming all the way up from Connecticut to be here, man. How do you think you did? I think you did good. I think I did great as well. Uh, I mean, there's always stuff you could work on, but I think I did fairly well. He had the uh, he had the owner of the Pirates throwing the ball to you. Has he still got it? Oh, he still got it. Definitely put some sip <laughs> on that boy today. Yeah, it was great. Awesome, awesome. And you had you had one of the best wide receivers in arena football to help you out in Marty Gilliard. And uh, you were were you able to pick his brain today on what you can do better and 
definitely uh, cued me up on some things, like the motion is new to me. Um, the head start thing, but uh, definitely if this I'm wrong, you'll let me know. So it was good. Yeah, I'm, I'm proud to report that you are our player of the uh, open tryout. And uh, if you were to get the call, what would what's the first thing that goes through your head? Jesus, uh, my eyes get big, I just get, I get happy, quick. Cause I've been working for this for a while, so this would be great.